Behind me, as you can see, the 4th of July is spectacular. Fireworks, the 4th of July, America's 247th birthday. But to one gentleman, when he mounted the podium, an invitation from the Rochester Ladies Anti-Slavery Society, July 5th, the day after July 4th, 1852, he had another version, another view, another take of July 4th, a take what it meant to African Americans, then what it meant to the 7 to 8 million shackled, bonded, enslaved African Americans, slavery and racism in America, America's stain. Frederick Douglass's monumental, colossal, global speech. What, and he asked the question for the ages, what is the 4th of July to a slave? Here's what Douglass said. What am I to argue that it is wrong to make men brutes, to rob them of their liberty, to work them without wages, to keep them ignorant of their relations to their fellow men, to beat them with sticks, to flay their flesh with a lash, to load their limbs, to hunt them with dogs, to sell them at auction, to sunder, starve them into obedience and submission to their masters. Must I argue that a system that's marked with blood and stained with pollution is wrong. The feeling of the nation must be quickened and the conscience of the nation must be roused. The propriety of the nation must be startled. The hypocrisy of the nation must be exposed and its crimes against God and man must be denounced. What to the American slave is your 4th of July? I answer, a day that revels and reveals to him more than all other days of the year. The gross injustice, the cruelty to which he is the constant victim. To him, your celebration is a sham, your boasted liberty an unholy license, your national greatness, swelling vanity, your sounds of rejoicing are empty and heartless. Your shouts of liberty and equality, hallow mocked. Your prayers and hymns, your sermons and thanksgivings with all of your religious parade and solemnity are to him mere bombast, fraud, deception, a thin veil to cover up crimes which would disgrace a nation of savages. There is not a nation of the earth guilty of practices more shocking and bloody than are the people of these United States. More shocking and bloody than these people of the United States. The very, very, very hour. Go search where you will. Roam through the monarchies and despotisms of the world, the old world, travel through South America, search out every abuse, and when you have found the last, lay your facts by the side of the everyday practices of this nation, and you will say with me, you will say with me, that for revolting barbarity, and shameless hypocrisy, America reigns without a rival. July 4th, what is your 4th of July to a slave? What is your 4th of July to African Americans? Still, 247 years later, the question that Frederick Douglass asked in his monumental, colossal, for the ages, sweeping global historical, speaking for the ages speech, before the Rochester 
Ladies Anti-Slavery Society, July 4th and 5th, 1852. It's a question that still, 247 years later, still begs an answer. Douglas spoke for the ages when he asked the eternal question, what is your 4th of July to the slave? I'm Earl Ofari Hutchinson. Get finished. Finished.